Welcome back everyone to Pokemon Spirit Gold. We're so close to the end of this game. We have two badges and the Elite Four left to do. So I should be doing that hopefully in the next couple episodes because this is our second to last badge. By the way, uh, you saw me on Cinnabar Island last episode. Apparently you can't explore that until uh, after game. Because you do need rock climb for that. Where Blaine is, is to the right of Cinnabar Island in the Seafoam Island. So this is where we are now in his gym. It's in a cave uh, on the Seafoam Islands. It's really easy to get to from Cinnabar, so no worries. I'm going to pwn everything with Empoleon. Let's go. White lab coat is a researcher's life. Well, I mean, we may be living in a cave like this, but we never forget to do the laundry. Snap. Well, hi, Infernape. Have a surf and die. Owie. Mock punch hurts. Mock punch hurts oars. Grr. And die. Thank you. Next. Okay, basically, uh, you just gotta talk to these guys until you figure out which one of them is gonna open the way to Blaine in the middle. It's not a very hard puzzle to figure out, because I'll give you a hint, it's the one on the far left. It's not even a hint, that's more like an answer, but whatever. Slow Torkoal is slow. Surfing time! And Slow Torkoal is also dead. <coughs> that's how I feel about that. Blaine may have lost his gym, but he never gives up. His perseverance is what motivates me. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but the reason nobody's on Cinnabar Island anymore is because apparently, in the story, a volcano exploded. Gee, a volcano exploding on an island with a fire gym. Go figure. Didn't see that one coming. But yeah, that's basically why Blaine moved here in the story. I think it's a very good reason, actually. I kind of like that. It's kind of creative. Alright. I'm in the middle of a collecting battle records. Can you help me? Sure, why not? Typhlosion. I wonder if I'm faster than that thing. I should be. Oh, no I'm not. Whatever. Sorry, Empoleon. I'll have to revive you or something. Get out here, Mamma Mia. You're my secondary defense against these fire types. Have an earth power, Typhlosion. Badam, badam, badam. Die. One more for the win. No biggie. One more. Thank you. Dead Typhlosion is dead. Super nerd Waldo. I found Waldo, guys! <laughs> He's right there in the Cinnabar gym. Anyways, uh, revive time. Not rare candy time, that comes later. Revives! Yes, I do use rare candies, but grinding is stupid in this game, so screw that. Ugh. LP or secrets right there. Oh, hi, last guy. Oh, you look easily defeated. I'm sure. And you look like a super awesome mega battler with a Macargo. A super awesome Macargo that's not going to die in one hit. Oh, I was being sarcastic. Sorry. Of course not. Alright, Blaine. It's time to poneth thee. Hmm, there's no fire electric and there's no fire grass, so my water type should be able to do a lot against him. And I know he's going to spam overheat. Hey you, my gym on Cinema Island was burned down by the eruption, but I will not give up. Take a look at this cave. We have turned it into a gym, and I am still acting as a gym leader. I'll give you the gym badge if you manage to defeat me. Are you ready? Here we go! Alright, it's Blaine time! Yes, yes! Easy, Macargo is easy. Have a surf. Bam. Oh, you're still a level 60. No biggie, no biggie, no biggie. No biggie, no biggie, no biggie. Oh god, Magmortar. Okay, Emperor is really the only thing that can beat this thing, because it is as hard as Pokemon, and it does have close combat, which I hate, because close combat's a pain in the major, major pain in the bootay, obviously. But luckily, it doesn't kill me in one hit, and I'm able to take it out, so I'm happy about that. Rapidash is coming, and Mamma Mia does have quite a defense against this thing, so I'm going to stall a little bit so I can use a Hyper Potion on my Empoleon. So that I'm clear for the rest of the battle, of course. Now that I got Magmortar out of the way, it shouldn't be too big of a problem, I suppose. Have an Earth Power. Crap! Okay, that thing freaking owned me. Oh, by the way, all of his Pokemon really have White Herb, meaning they can get a free Overheat, because White Herb negates any... Uh, negative status effects that these moves give them. This Rapidash with Flare Blitz, though, is really nothing to scoff at, either. I mean, Flare Blitz freaking hurts. 
Um, as for this Arcanine, I have to send out somebody as fodder so I can heal Empoleon again. Uh, shoot, I don't know what to do, so go Wishmaster. Hopefully you can survive one attack at least, maybe, something. Whoops. I have a potion on Le Emperor. Thank you. Figured it would use Flare Blitz. I mean, it's gonna own me. Wow, you actually survived. Good job, Wish. Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> that was crap. Okay, Emperor. Then that's not what I wanted to use. God dang it. Well, maybe I'll still kill it. Please kill it. Oh, that didn't do anything. Fail. Why did I use? <sighs> I could have beaten it then. I'm stupid. This should really be the hardest gym in Kanto for me, bar none, so... If I keep using Hyper Potion, maybe he'll use something other than Flare Blitz. That would be nice, because if he does, he's dead. Oh, full restore, really? Fine, have a Surf. You and your stupid Flare Blitz. Die, Arcanine. Arcanine is a beast, so watch out for him, too. Nine Tails, I can probably beat this thing, I'm not really worried about it. Uh, it's, I think it's a special attack sweeper, so, and I, it probably has hypnosis. I haven't kept it alive enough to, uh, figure it out, but, yeah. Uh, generally, that thing is not too hard if you have a water type, of course. Oh, God, overheat again. Oh, God dang it, really? As long as I revive, uh, suppose as long as I revive my Empoleon, it shouldn't be too bad. Can I get this thing with a zap cannon? No, it's just going to use Overheat and kill me, right? That's what I thought. Crap. Uh, well, at least its uh, special defense, special attack has been lowered quite a bit, so... Let's go ahead and use... How many max survives do I have? Two? Um... Nah, I can get, uh... I can, if I need to, I can use Pinch Me as fodder and then get, uh... Emperor to, uh, full health again. Yep, see, your special attack is so low you can't really do anything anymore to me, so... I'm good with using one more Hyper Potion. Wherever it is, where's my Hyper Potions? There they are. I know I'm kind of Hyper Potion spamming in this battle, but this is supposed to be the hardest battle for me in Kanto, so... I see it as, uh, strategy. Emperor, it's time to end this sad thing's existence before it raises its special attack all over again. So kill it! Yes, and that's Blaine for ya. Level 66, go Emperor Go. My spirit has not been defeated. Awesome, I have burned out. Take this Volcano Badge. Yay, Volcano Badge! Woot woot, one badge left. Woot woot. I don't really need, I don't think anybody in my party can learn Overheat. If I had Heat Ran, he could, but I don't, so screw that. So, yeah. Interesting reason for him to be here instead of on Cinnabar, I'd say. <laughs> really? I had Repel on? I didn't even notice. Right, so, let's get the freak out of here. You notice I'm not really exploring any of the detailed places because I kind of just want to get past this game. So let's uh, go ahead and fly back to Cinnabar Island. Unfortunately, Seafoam Islands aren't a flyable location, so you always have to surf here. I know it's kind of annoying, but... It happens. Let's save before I got lich. We are almost to Elite Four for the second time. Yes. Bruno is still going to be a humongous pain in the butt. I can see it. I can see it now. Yes. Rest my crap. Thank you. I'm thinking for the second Elite Four uh, and Red, I'm going to combine my Dark and Steel team. Now, or, you know, I could just give the Steel team the respect it deserves and have it face the Elite Four on its own. Yeah, I think I'll do that. i got to finish both regions with the two teams anyway. If you want to battle me for real, come to Viridian Gym. Alrighty then. What are you going to do, walk across the water by yourself? No surfing, nothing? Fine with me. Time to go to Viridian Gym! Yeah! Already been there, so... All I gotta do is fly! Wee! Wee! Shut up, cat. Good lord, what kind of meow was that? 
That rhymed. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go fight some crime. Aha, that old man is not in the way anymore. I win. Right, so uh, who do we have out first here? Let's get... Uh, uh, I'm not sure. I think this is kind of a mismatch of Pokemon in this gym. I'm not really sure who's supposed to be here, so... I'm gonna have Wishmaster out first. You're a legend in the making. The floor is unstable. She should put away your Pokemon. Now, the gym leader is a guy who battled the champion three years ago. He's no pushover. Give it everything you got. Alrighty then. Ah, oh, I think I should give it everything I got. What do you think, guys? So basically, this is a teleporter puzzle. It's funny because when I was scouting ahead, uh, the last time I did this, I didn't fight any trainers at all before I got to uh, blue. I find that kind of humorous. Okay, that leads that way. Whoops. Um, that leads that way. What if we went down here? Ah, oh, crap. That led back to the beginning. What a fail. What a freaking fail. Obviously, you can't go that way either. So if I go this way... done this before, dang it. What's wrong with me? Okay, that just led me back to where I was. I suck at methodical puzzle solving. And uh, I guess let's go up this way. And it looks like we're in this spot again, which is not that great of a spot to be in. So what if we went up this way? Nope. Nothing. Oh, there we go. That's what we're supposed to do. Aha! And we're supposed to go to this one. And see, I just made it to blue without having to face any freaking trainers whatsoever. So obviously it's possible in this gym. I like the way the badge is hanging above him that there. That's pretty cool. Wow. Okay, so I had no practice at all in this gym before I'm about to fight him. So let's see what we can do. Yo, finally got here, huh? I wasn't in the mood at Cinnabar, but now I'm ready to battle you. You're telling me you conquered all the gyms in Johto? Ha ha ha. Johto gyms are that pathetic? Don't worry about it. I'll know if you're good or not by battling you right now. Final battle! Welcome back, everyone. Okay, Blue is not easy for my team, mostly because he has an Arcanine that's really beastly, and uh, the fact that he has basically everybody equipped with close combat, and that's never good. So we're going to try this again. I've lost once so far, but we're going to try this again. Go for Fly. No Iron Head for you, Caesar. Well, you can use an Iron Head, but it's not like it's going to help you. Have a brave bird and die. Caesar said have a brave bird and die, dang it. Thank you. One down. Next, Arcanine's coming out. And of course we want Emperor for this. I made the mistake last time of uh, switching out to Emperor instead of, uh, you know, putting him out right away like I did here. Um, and luckily he didn't get the crit on the close combat this time, so Emperor didn't die. And I do have a chance of killing this in one hit. Which I do, so that's one threat averted. So next, Electrovire's out, and I found out the best thing for me to use against this is, uh, actually Pinch Me's very good against Electrovire. Considering this, Pinch Me has very high attack, and Electrovire has rather low defense. Uh, x Scissor does quite a good amount of damage, I think. Or at least that's what it seems like. So if Pinch Me can survive a couple, no he can't. Whatever. Uh, Wishmaster should do okay against him too, then. Go for Psychic. Kill that mother freaker. Thank you. Okay, Heracross. Uh, this is a job for a Starscream. Hopefully he's faster. Because if he's not, I'm screwed. Have a fly. Oh, he's not faster. That's fantastic. That means this Heracross is going to be a pain in the butt. Um, okay, we'll go for Wishmaster then, since this thing is weak to Psychic as well. So go for Psychic Wishmaster, you're faster than most everything on this guy's team, so you should be able to take it out. That's what I'm talking about, yes! Oh, Umbreon, how I load the... and how I'm going to use a Zap Cannon on the as well, because you're so freaking annoying. With your curse, and your resting, and your full restores. By the way, uh, not even joking here, Blue has like a bazillion full restores, and he, I swear he chooses to use all of them on his Umbreon. Not to mention Umbreon has Synchronize, and that's never fun. 
because that means most of the status effects you'll give this thing won't even matter because they'll be used on you instead. So that's really annoying. Plus, you know, like I said, ton of full restores, so that makes this quite annoying as well. So hopefully Zap Cannon doesn't keep missing. Hopefully I don't keep getting paralyzed. Uh, the best way to go about this is to fight him with uh, special attacks, it seems, because he is going to raise his attack and defense quite a lot. Oh, and it also has payback, so keep a lookout for that. Why do you keep missing Zap Cannon, UFO? You're really pissing me off now. Stop it. And now he's spamming payback, and that's pissing me off, too. So have a discharge, and get paralyzed, and die. I'm going to use the full restore. By the way, the last time I did this battle, I used one of my max revives, and I still didn't win, so, uh... I'm kind of pissed that I wasted that, to be honest. So this thing likes to use Shadow Sneak and, uh, Payback, so look out for both of those. He's gonna use Full Restore. I can see it, because he uses, like, four of these on this thing. And it's really, really annoying. All I gotta do is keep on the offense, pretty much, and keep trying to paralyze him. And he'll keep using Payback, which is going to suck. Come on, Discharge, get him. I know he's going to use Full Restore, so I'm going to use one of my own. That's what I thought. Stupid blue and your annoying Full Restore Umbreon. Arr. So, I mean, if you have something that's weak to uh, Dark Attacks or ghost attacks, then you might not want to send them out on this Umbreon, because its uh, defense is beastly, and also payback, and uh, Shadow Sneak can do quite a lot of damage to you, not to mention his curse gets him up quite a bit in st Oh, critical hit? Really? Oh, that was crap. That was just total crap. You finish him off, Brobo Pass, because I'm tired of looking at this thing's ugly face. Not gonna do anything. Who are you kidding? Have a discharge and die. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, it's attack stats get quite beastly, as I was trying to say. Alakazam, we'll keep out Mamma Mia. Maybe we can overpower it or something. Go for Stone Edge. Hopefully I can hit it. Oh, I guess this thing has Thunder Wave. That's no fun. Uh, how about Earth Power? Obviously Alakazam has beastly special attack, but if you have something that's high in special defense like this, uh, Probo Pass here, you shouldn't have too much of a problem with it, most likely. And there we go. That is the final badge of Kanto! Yes. No way! How the heck did I lose to you? Huh. <laughs> Alright. Here, take this. It's the Earth Badge. You didn't even really have any Earth Pokemon, dude, but okay. Fine with me. I still get your badge. I can use Rock Climb, but you don't get it until the after game, really. TM92 contains Trick Room. That's pretty good, actually. Trick Room's kind of nice. I mean, if I had a Sableye that had Stall, I would totally use Trick Room. Like, uh, oh yeah, actually, you know what? I, this was the LP where I had the Sableye, so when I fight Red, I might as well teach that thing Trick Room, because Trick Room can be very useful on something like that. Um, I don't think I need any, I don't think I have anybody that needs it right now, so I'm just gonna save it for my Sableye. Sounds like a good plan, and wow, I didn't fight any trainer in this gym but him. How about that? I don't even know how to get to the other trainers, honestly. It's kind of weird. Oh, hi, Professor Oak. Hello, this is Professor Oak. Oh, you don't have to say anything. I know better than anyone else how hard you're working. I thought I should get you a present or something in appreciation. Well, I picked something up, but I completely forgot to give it to you. Haha. -ha. You don't have to wonder about it at all. I know it's something that will be very helpful to you. You should just come here and pick it up. Oh, boy, we're going back to Pallet Town, it looks like. Okay, let's save, because I glitched here last time when I was scouting ahead, and I was not very happy about that. And we'll fly off to Pallet Town after we heal. Chess. We have 12 minutes left. Maybe we can make it to the Elite Four in that time. Because they're obviously harder the second time around, and I don't even know if I'm fully prepared. God, that is a humongous nose, Probo Pass. Okay, mamma mia, that is a big a nose. That is a big schnoz! Ha 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 ha! That's what I should have called them. I should have just called them schnoz. <laughs> that would be funny. Okay, anyways. Let us fly to Pallet Town. Shall we? Um, Pallet Town's right there. Cool. 
So yeah, we've gone all over Kanto already, we've got all eight badges, and I just froze. See, like I said, I totally, totally saw that coming. So now then, let's just heal one more time. One more time! Yay, that is funny because that is the exact spot that I froze last time. Which kind of pisses me off a little bit, not gonna lie. Actually, no, the exact spot I froze last time was right outside the gym when I tried to fly back to Power Town. Ah, alright, anyways. Dun 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 dun, dun schnoz. Okay, yeah, 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 we know. We know, lady! Now let's get out of here! Mer. To Pilot Town we go, we have ten minutes left. Yes. Fly, my pretty! Fly, fly! I wanna see what Professor Oak has. He's probably gonna give us a Togepi egg or something. By the way, those are red and blue houses, so I find that very interesting. Oh, hi, Professor Oak. Good to see you. This is what I wanted to give to you. HMO wait! Oh, that must be rock climb. Cool. Now the hidden machine can then move rock climb. You can go up rock walls that have steps carved in them. Those badges are... Wow! You have not only become a Johto champion, but you've collected all the Kanto badges. Well done. I wonder I sent something in you when it mad. Tell you what, Blarg. Make arrangements so you can go to Mount Silver. Mount Silver is a big mountain that's on a main wild Pokemon. It's too dangerous for your average trainer, so it's off limits, but we can make an exception in your case, Barg. You can reach Mount Silver from there. Right, so, uh, first of all, what I want to do is uh, face the Elite Four one more time with my Steel Party, because uh, they are stronger, and then we'll go to Mount Silver and face Red. I am going to use a lot of rare candies though, maybe on screen, because I know I need to get everybody up to at least maybe 75, I want to say. 75 sounds about right to me. Whoops, I totally did not mean to go back into Victory Road. Let's actually fly to the Elite Four and not have to do that. Wee! Alright. Fly to Le Indigo Plat. Welcome back everyone. Okay, I rare candied everyone to 75 because I think that's the level I need to be for the Elite Four. Also, Jirachi learned some really interesting moves. I've never heard of Doom Desire before. That move sounds freaking awesome. Plus it gets stabbed because of the Steel type bonus. And of course, Last Resort. Don't know if we'll ever use that, but I might have it in my pocket just in case. So let's go face the Elite Four for the final time. Yes, yes, we know, we know. Yes. Should still be able to own the Psychic guy, at least. Welcome to the Pokemon League. Allow me to introduce myself. We know your will. We fought you before. Can't you remember that? Seriously, man. Alright, here we go. Turns out Bronzong, level 71. As I said, 75 is a good level for this, it seems. X Caesar. Stealth Rock. That's no good except in Wi Fi battles. Who are you kidding, man? Oh my god, Earthquake! Okay, that doesn't do very much. Oh, freaking. How many full restores do you have? Seriously. You better not have as many as blue. I will be pissed. Just die, you butt munch. Stop using Earthquake. You're gonna die anyway. Good, okay, there we go. Fine with me. Gardevoir. We'll keep Pinch Me out. Doubt this thing can really do anything to it. Oh god, Focus Blast! I was wrong! Ah, okay, good. I did survive, though. Phew. And you're dead. Clay doll. Uh, this will be a job for my Empoleon. I do need to keep him out a little bit, I suppose, to uh, heal my, uh, whatchamacallit, too, uh, my Caesar. Kill that thing. One hit. Come on. One hit. One hit. One hit. Oh, god dang it. All right. Whatever. That's fine. Pinch me. Get back to 211 health. Thank you. Of course, this thing would have Earth Power and something to own my Empoleon with. Doesn't matter to me. Pinch me, get out here and finish it. Iron Head and dead. Slow King, this would be a job for UFO. It has to be. Have a discharge. By the way, uh, my Probo Pass randomly learned Zap Cannon as well. I think that's very interesting that it would do that, to be honest. Because, I mean, I can't imagine why he didn't learn, like, a rock move or something, but I guess Zap Cannon would be very useful. It's kind of an overpowered move as is. Porygon Z, I don't remember him from last time. However, Pinch Me should be able to take him out quite cleanly. Have an Iron Head. 
And Iron Head. Wow, you even flinched. What a fail. Dead Porygon Z is dead. Zatu, that's another thing for UFO. Of course. I love Magnazone. He's awesome, and he has an awesome cry. Discharge and dead. For the win. Yeah! Will was never that hard. Never, ever. Right, so... Where's my Hyper Potions? I know I still have plenty of those. Where are you, Hyper Potions? Hello? Oh, I have ten of them. That's not very many at all. Well, I guess I'll just have to be careful then. Revive time! Revival time! Da 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 da! Christian song. Okay, uh, where's. Oh, I'll go ahead and use up my Super Potions first if I can. Sounds more like a better plan to me than using all my Hyper Potions right at the beginning. Next room. Okay, this is, uh, Koga. This should be kind of cake. Especially if I send a Probo Pass on this guy. Yeah, I'd assume Mamma Mia, or even... No, no, let's use Jirachi. Jirachi should be able to own him, too. Yeah, let's go with Jirachi. I like that idea. Ugh, Jirachi is awesome, anyway. Maybe I can wall him out, even. But you get style will compound him. We know who you are, Koga. I beat your daughter, you know. Ugh, god dang it. She was harder than you, too, you know. Crobat! Don't you mean bat fodder? You turn. Oh, come on. I'll still be able to beat this Scyther, bar none. Uh, I, this is where I start spamming uh, cosmic power, I suppose. And try for the sweep, at least. Hope it doesn't get a crit, pretty much. Go for Hyper Potion, why not? We'll wall him out. Tell he's dead, because the Scyther obviously can't do anything to me. Unless it randomly gets a crit, in which I will be pissed. Of course you're going to use Full Restore. You all have at least one or two of those in your repertoire. Please, give me a break. Have one more. Night Slash. Pusha. Crobat's out again. Still can't do anything to me. Not even with that Brave Bird. Die. I'm going to use up all my Psychics on this thing, I feel like. Ack, I hate U-Turn. Go screw yourself with that. Gengar should still die, because that should be times four, I believe. Yep, easy as that. Tentacruel. Uh, nah, let's leave Wishmaster out. He should sweep this guy. Toxic Spikes, great. Just the what to need it. I'm going to be running out of PP for him pretty soon, so i got to be careful. I mean, I could use Last Resort if that happens, but still. Wow, he's going to put a lot of Toxic Spikes around. I'm a little scurred now. Not going to lie. Using all my Psychics on this guy. Go for it. Yeah, it's too bad I don't have another move other than super effective Last Resort move things. Venomoth, Pusha, no problem. Wow, why do they keep surviving with, like, 1 HP? That pisses me off. What does Doom Desire look like? Whatever it is, it's bound to pwn him. I guess it's like a super advanced future site or something. That's what it seems like to me. Last resort work now? Oh, what do you know? Yeah, it does. Cool. Okay, maybe Doom Desire will run this Crobat, because it has been two turns, I believe, hasn't it? Oh well, there we go. Muck. Keep battling. This should be no problem. When does Doom Desire work, anyway? Use it again. See if it works. How does Doom Desire work? I'm so confused about that. Stupid black sludge. Grr. How does this doom... I'm... I'm... Okay, there we go. Finally. God, I was waiting for that to happen. And it still didn't kill him. What the heck? Oh, how annoying. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to use a max ether or something on him, I suppose. Get out of here, Mamma Mia. Finish this thing off. Ow! Seriously? That's probably why I survived with one HP. Piss me off, man. Piss me off. Stop missing! There we go, finally. Zap Cannon for the win. Yes, yes, we know. We know. Time to hit you with Earth Power. Die, mother freaker. Uh, how, how annoying is this? Grr. I think we're about out of time, too, unfortunately. Earth Power. Okay, Mama Mia needs Cosmic Power. That would make him very good defensive wall. Shadow Sneak is not going to help you. Sorry. Just die already, you stupid muck. Thank you. There we go. No problemo, except for all the PP that I lost. Do I have a max elixir? I should, shouldn't I? Yeah, I do. I have five of those. How about that? Good. Okay, where's my hyper potions? There they are. So we got done with the first couple members of the Elite Four. No problemo. And it seems like we're going to have to wait an episode to get done with the rest. Unless... You know what? You know what, guys? Um... Grand finale. I'm definitely going to make this a grand finale because we don't really have that much left to do anyhow. So, yes, grand finale it is. On to the next one. Yay. Just like I did with Light Platinum. Okay, Bruno is going to be a pain in the butt. So it's a good thing that I have Psychic and Flying Pokemon. All right, Bruno, here we go. Hopefully this doesn't suck so much. Alright, hit him on top. Time to use a psychic on this thing. Ack, fake out. Boo hiss. Die. Die to psychic. Come on. There we go. Stupid hip on top is stupid. Steelix. Uh don't think uh Emperor. Emperor should be able to take this thing out. I think he did last time. I I think I had a water type take him out last Whoops, not what I meant to do. I'm stupid. Oh, he's just using stealth rock anyways. What a waste. Surf and die. Your butt munch. Thank you. That's two down for Bruno. Horiyama! Have a wish master! Stupid stealth rocks. So useless. Except in Wi Fi battles. Have a psychic and die, you Horiyama butt munch. He's gonna use Full Restore. Yep, I knew it. Hopefully, he doesn't have too many of these annoying things. That thing has weird ears. Aha! Special defense fell. That means I should be able to kill you whether you use Full Restore or not. So die! Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Ursa Ring. Do I have any fighting type attacks? No. Pinch Me should be able to do something against this thing, so let's try him. Have an Iron Head. Stupid Ursa Ring. Ah! Critical hit. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, Machamp is out. And we'll go for Star Scream on this one since we haven't seen him all battle and he's clearly a fighting or a flying type rather. So, have a fly, Machamp. Light screen. Okay. Whatever, I'm using physical attack, so what does it matter? Don't care if you have a citrus berry, I'm still gonna beat you next turn. Ow, that cross shot hurt. Have a ray bird and die. That's what I'm talking about. Don't die, don't die. Good. Okay. Okay, Bruno is surprisingly easy for what I thought he would be. But I could just be talking out of my butt right now. Mamma Mia, I don't know why I sent him out on this Lucario. He'll probably kill me with Aura Spear. But it's worth a shot, at least for a Zap Cannon. Shut up, cat. Cat, shut up. Shut up. Okay, who else can I send out on this thing? Uh, I'll go for Wishmaster. Why not? He's been with us the whole battle, and I don't think he'll die to one Aura Spear. Great. I can barely do anything to this thing, though. That's never good. Uh, try Doom Desire. See what that can do. Last resort. Oh, crap. I have to have low power points or something, apparently. Uh, shh. UFO. Try your luck. Have a Zap Cannon. Should probably be using Star Scream or something, so I don't know what I'm thinking here. Okay, that did quite a good amount of damage, I would say, so Doom Desire is a very good attack. I'll give it that. I still have Starscream. Why am I not using it? I should be using Brave Bird or something on this thing. 
Ah, full restore. Boo. Um, I will save that hyper potion. Vacuum. Oh, duh. He doesn't have any health left. I was like, shouldn't he survive that? Nope, I was wrong. Uh, go for Brave Bird. Stupid Aura Sphere is stupid. Da 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 God dang it. Didn't know this Lucario would be such a big pain in the butt, to be honest. Vacuum Wave. Oh god, freaking crits. Crits are a pain in the butt. Boo. Yes. Amber, survive something, please. I know you can survive at least one Aura Sphere. For a surf for the win. Come on, survive, survive, survive. Good. There we go. Finish him off. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Ember is a savior. There we go. Okay, and I'm probably going to use most of my remaining hyper potions on this recovery here, unfortunately. I'll probably want to use an Aether on Wishmaster as well. Because he doesn't have too many psychics left. Crap. <coughs> well, the good news is we only have two Elite Four members left to beat, so... Hopefully we can beat them. I have a feeling they're going to be hard, otherwise. Uh, do I have max potions? Did I put those in here? I can't tell. Do I? Do I? Anywhere? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so I guess we'll use up our super potions first. Whatever. Good enough for now, I think, for that. And, of course, a couple on UFO and Mamma Mia. I should have bought some potions before I came here. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, it's fine for right now. And we'll use one on Wishmaster. Go ahead and save. Phew. Bruno is hard, guys. Especially because both the uh, monotype teams I had are weak to fighting types. So that's never fun. And I'm going to go ahead and use an Ether on that Psychic. Might as well use a PP up if I have it. Do I have a PP up? Um, at all by any chance? No? Okay. Elixir it is. Whatever. Who cares? Next. Okay, this is the Dark Lady, so I don't want Wishmaster on this one. Uh, I think Pinch Me should be able to do a good job on her, so let's try it. Karen of the Elite Four, yes. Heal of Dark Type, we know, we know. Let's go. Yes, okay, we vile. Meet my pinch me and have a X Scissor. Oh god, it has Brick Break. It's a good thing I sent out pinch me on it first then. And it's a good thing it doesn't have very high defense either. Level 76. Hound Doom, uh, Emperor, take this thing out. I'm fearing her Umbreon, not gonna lie. Have a Surf, Hound Doom. You wasted a turn with Nasty Plot, and now you get a Surf and Die. Hopefully. Surf and Die, Surf and Die. Yes, there we go. That's two down. Next, Miss Magius. Um, Pinch Me should be able to take this thing. Hopefully. Let's go for Iron Head, see how much it does. She's obviously a special attacker, I can tell. Um, finish her off with X-Scissor. Not very effective, really? Okay. Ah, Thunderbolt. That might hurt a little bit, because of Nasty Plot, and yes, it does. Okay. Fine with me. Uh, we'll read a meter real master of Thunder here. Shadow Ball? Meh. Don't even think about it, stupid Miss Magius. What? How are you not dead? Really? Fine, I'll have to use a Hyper Potion on somebody then. How annoying. Stupid Nasty Plot is stupid. Thunderbolt, really? That still did a crap load because of a stupid nasty plot, which is annoying. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die! Ah, paralysis, screw that. I have a full restore, so I might as well use it. Stupid Miss Magius is stupid. Grr. Freaking Shadow Ball. Discharge and die! I'm tired of looking at this thing. There we go, finally! God dang, annoyance. Next, Haunch Crow. Wow, this is what I actually needed UFO for. However, I'm going to send out Mamma Mia for Stone Edge. 
Haven't seen much of him uh, this Elite Four. Heat Wave shouldn't do too much. Except for Burn Me, which is freaking annoying, but whatever. Wow, this thing's kind of beastly if he takes that Stone Edge that well. Why don't I use Zap Cannon? Good lord, what am I thinking? Oh god, Super Power! Grr! That's annoying. Uh... Emperor, see what you can do against this thing. I trust you. Have a Surf Haunch Crow. Brave Bird shouldn't do too much. And there we go. One Haunch Crow down. Umbreon's out, and this is gonna create. This is gonna be freaking annoying. Um, I'm gonna leave Emperor out because I do want my uh, my UFO to face this thing. I need to hit it with Zap Cannon. That's what I need to do. Uh, and also, uh, of course, I have Surf, which is gonna attack its special defense. What it's not raising. So hopefully this will work out. Keep surfing. I know she's got a full restore up her sleeve somewhere. Hopefully I can beat it next turn since it's only spamming surf anyhow. Okay, good. So this Umbreon was a lot easier than it was last time. I'm relieved about that for sure. Spiritomb. Should have, of course, seen that one coming. Uh, Yeah, just keep surfing. Keep on surfing, man. Who cares? It's going to use Nasty Plot, and it's probably Hypnosis and Dream Eater Spiritomb, but who cares? Just kill it. There we go, that's Karen. One more. Yes. Blah 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 blah. Okay, champion is waiting. Okay, we are almost done with the second Elite Four. So exciting. And I don't really have very many healing items left. That's fantastic. I should have bought more. Why didn't I buy more? Dang it. More? Should have bought more. Okay, I only have two hyper potions left. Might as well use them on Emperor. And do I have any super potions, or did I use them all? Looks like I used them all. Curses. Uh, I have one full restore left. I think I might keep that for now. And I have some max elixirs. We'll save those. Do I have any berries that can restore health by any chance? Um, nope, I didn't bother to pick berries the whole game, so what do I care? Looks like I'll be going into the champion with kind of a weakened party, so hopefully this isn't too difficult due to that. I suppose we'll see. Either way, let's switch out to UFO first since he's got the highest amount of health at the moment, it seems. Alright, champion, here we go again. Lance, been waiting for you. Blarg, I know that you with your skills would eventually reach me here. Alright, the Lance Dragon Master, here we go. This is gonna suck. Oh, it had to be Aerodactyl, didn't it? Wait, no, this thing is rock, not ground. What am I thinking? Ah, but it does have Earthquake. Owie, 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 don't die! God dang it, really? Already? Stupid Aerodactyl is stupid. Have a Surf. Don't die from Earthquake, please. I will be pissed. Come on. I feel like I just wasted a Hyper Potion on him now. Really? And he has one of those? How annoying is that? Waterfall. Just die from Waterfall, you stupid Aerodactyl. Seriously. Ugh. There we go. Okay. Level 76. Yeah, Garchomp. Oh, great. This is gonna suck. Uh, Wishmaster, see what you can do against this thing. I'll go ahead and use a Doom Desire, because I know I'll need it. And naturally, everything on this guy's team probably has Earthquake, which is freaking annoying, because Earthquake is probably the worst thing you could ever use on me right now. Of course, it's going to Swords and Dance the crap out of itself. Not surprising there. Brave Bird didn't do crap. Uh, it's, use a Fly or something, I guess. Why does it have Fire Fang? God, really? Really? Take that Doom Desire and die. Wow, really? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Fantastic. Ugh, have a Stone Edge. Oh, and you're gonna use Earthquake again. On my weakened party. Grrr. Pinch me. Do something against this guy. Ugh. Don't die! Come on, man! Seriously! 
Ugh, surf. Something. God dang it. Okay, guys, so basically what happened is I lost, um, and I was in no position to win because I didn't have any healing items. I couldn't get past his Garchomp in the state that I was in, so basically I lost, went back, bought healing items, rose everybody to level 80, and then uh, made my way back here. So let's uh, go ahead and bring everybody to full health, and hopefully we should be in a state now where we'll stand a chance. Because Lance is hard, so... Let's try this one more time. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Lance time. Okay, this Aerodactyl has some really annoying moves for me. Mostly uh, Earthquake is a pain in the butt. Ugh. But also it's carrying a berry that weakens whatever attack you do on it, so that's not fun at all. Um, luckily I have the Hyper Potions. But that's not going to help me much when this thing can kill me in two earthquakes. Oh, he's going to withdraw Aerodactyl, is he? What is this thing also? Does this thing also have Earthquake or something? I'm going to send out Starscream just in case. Oh, it's got Bounce. That figures. Okay, let's try not to get out of... Oh, Paralysis, really? Let's try not to get out of sync with this thing, I suppose, if it's going to be using that Bounce. Uh, where's my paralyzed heals? There they are. Don't want to get paralyzed because that would be freaking annoying. Waterfall is going to hurt. So let's use a hyper potion. Because I know this thing can't do too much to Starscream, luckily. At least that's what it seems like. Okay, hopefully it doesn't use bounce again. Yes, it will. Okay, so we're totally out of sync with it right now. So, we're gonna go for a Brave Bird as soon as it bounces. And I'm paralyzed again. Isn't that great? Grr, kill it with Brave Bird. Come on. Go for Fly. Oh, full restore. Are you serious? Now he's gonna use Bounce again, isn't he? Nope, Stone Edge. I'm paralyzed anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Should have bought more full restores, but whatever. For the sake of killing his Gyarados, I'll use this on me. Um... What I should do is send out UFO on this thing, though. I don't know if it has Earthquake. I really hope not. Uh, but it's worth a tr it's worth risking, I suppose, if we can kill this thing. That is times four super, so it should kill it. Luckily, good, 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 good. And uh, here's Garchomp, which I absolutely hate. It's one of his most annoying Pokemon, bar none. I couldn't get past it last time. This thing murdered my team, like literally murdered. Um, and I don't know why I kept UFO out there. That was not a good idea. What I should do on this thing, since Wishmaster is at least faster, we'll send him out. Uh, go for Doom Desire. He's gonna go for Sword Stance and try to sweep, I can tell. Uh, I'm gonna go for Psychic. Hopefully we can do some good damage to him nonetheless. Earthquake will probably kill Wishmaster in one hit. I really hope not. Yeah, with the Sword Stance, uh, it, I think it might murder my team, so... Yeah, we'll see what we can do here. Go for Iron Head. Don't kill me, please, please, please. That's not super effective. Come on. I did survive. Phew! Yes, and the Doom Desire attack came through. Win! Okay. That's one only, That's one annoyance down. Uh, Salamence is coming out, and I hope to God this thing doesn't know Earthquake 2. Because that would suck. That would really suck as well. Um, and he's cutting my attack, and that's not good for somebody that's a mainly physical attacker like Starscream. Well, already has low attack as is, and this thing has Flamethrower, so that means I can't even send out my Caesar on it. Great, so, um, let's go for Fly. But, nope, I'm slower. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I go for Fly, I'm slower. So, hopefully this thing doesn't have Earthquake, at least. And that could be the saving grace here, even though it has Flamethrower, and that's going to be rather annoying. Luckily, it doesn't affect Emperor that much, but then again, Surf doesn't affect him that much either. Okay, Draco Meteor is going to lower his attack quite a lower his special attack quite a bit, so Emperor is obviously the right choice to send out on this thing. I feel comfortable in saying that, as long as he doesn't get an annoying critical hit or something. He already used Draco Meteor, so that's not going to do anything, dude. I'll just have to keep drill pecking this thing until it's dead, and he's probably going to use a full restore on it, so. Oh, he's not. Okay, he must be out of full restores. That's good news. 
Oh, so he's gonna withdraw and go back out to Aerodactyl and try to use Earthquake. Fantastic. Luckily, Earthquake shouldn't kill me in one hit unless he randomly gets a crit, in which case I will be pissed. So die, Aerodactyl. Thank you. Okay, Dragonite. That's gonna be a pain. I could already see it. Uh, actually, Mamma Mia might be able to do something to this thing with Stone Edge, so hopefully it doesn't have Surf or something. Substitute. Oh god, really? Okay, good. Okay, so I, I'll ruin its Focus Punch, right? Oh, no, I won't. Crap. Okay, Mamma Mia's dead. That is... Okay, so he's a Focus Punch Dragonite, so I'm gonna have to have something that basically has really good, um, accuracy. Iron Head has decent accuracy, so we can try that. Of course, it has a Citrus Berry. And he's gonna try to sweep with that, uh, Dragon Dance, obviously. Um... And uh, he does have a full restore left. That's just annoying as crap, isn't it? So no, no more substitutes, dude. Seriously, you're annoying. Okay, and he's gonna keep spamming Dragon Dance, but luckily I should be able to take him out with Iron Head because he's an idiot. So there we go. One Dragonite down. Salamence is out. I can't really keep Pinch me out because of that Flamethrower. That poses too much of a hazard. But I can keep, um, I'm gonna go ahead and use a Hyper Potion just for good measure on Emperor. Just so he doesn't die by some random act of divine full restore. <laughs> or something like that. And I'll just drill, drill peck the crap out of him because that's the best thing I can do here, it looks like. He's got, he, obviously he recovered his stats, so Draco Meteor is gonna do normal damage now. And it looks like all I can really do is drill peck, oh, he does have Hydro Pump. But that's not going to do anything, so why am I worried? How about Cut? Will Cut do more than Drill Pack by any chance? It's worth a check, I suppose. Nope. I'll just have to kind of inch this thing to uh, to death, pretty much. He still have a, has a Pokemon left after this, so... I'm a little bit worried, not gonna lie. Of course, he's killing himself by spamming Draco Meteor, because, I mean, Flamethrower is not going to do anything anymore, because his special attack is so low. So, I mean, I don't know what he's doing with this. This Salamence is just kind of a mess at this point. He can't really do anything to me while I slowly inch him to death with my Drill Pack. And there we go. Salamence is down. Oh, T Tyranitar. Okay. He does have Earthquake, but I should be faster, and I should be able to use Surf. You're going to use Stone Edge instead? All right. Well, have a Surf then, and uh, gladly say goodbye to the Elite Four. All right. Elite Four down. It's over, but it's an odd feeling. Yes, I'm not really the new champion, Lance. I'm uh, sorry to uh, upset you, but um, basically I just beat the Elite Four for the second time, which means I am quite ready to go to uh, Mount Silver, I would say. I do need to get everybody rare candied up to 95, though. Um, so, yeah. Because Red has level 90 to 99 Pokemon, so getting everybody to 95 would be... Yeah very good thing to do. And I will have to cut for that since I'm combining my Dark and Steel team and I'm gonna, it's gonna take a while to rare candy everybody up. Yeah, so now my Steel types and my Dark types are in the Hall of Fame. That's a great feeling. Yeah! Alright! Yeah! Emperor! Magnazone! Probopus! Caesar! Jirachi! Skarmory! That's our Steel Team! Woot! Okay, and I think I can, after this saves, I think I can skip the credits by resetting, so hopefully it saves right. Come on, save right! Okay, now I can skip the credits by resetting, I believe. So we don't have to go through those again. I already gave my thoughts on the game, so... Alright, so now we're back in here. I'm gonna go pick out um, what I need to face Red with, and I'll be right back. Welcome back, everyone. We are in Mount Silver, and I've chosen my team. We have UFO for taking out Blastoise and whatever else we need to do on Red. We have Wishmaster for Venusaur, and because Wishmaster is epic and has some great moves. Tyranny Tar, because everybody loves Tyranny Tar, and uh, he's there to take out Pikachu. Uh, Omnom to take out that Charizard. I also have uh, 
Magnezone, of course, as backup uh, in case we need to. We need backup, of course, and then Shogun because I needed somebody with fly. And Pinchby's back is an extra too because I figured he would be useful. So, yeah, that's uh, it's a really attack based party, but that's the party we're going to be using for red. So, let's move on with it. So I found out Rock Climb in this game is actually better than Stone Edge, which is why I even bothered to teach it to Tyranny Tar in the first place. I think that's kind of cool myself. So hopefully we don't take too long trying to find uh, Red here. I do have uh, Repels on, so this shouldn't be too bad on the Wild Encounter side, I hope. I mean, all my Pokemon are level 95, which is a, essentially the level that you would need to be, in my opinion, if you wanted to stand a chance against Red. Because um, Red in this game has level 90 to 99 Pokemon. So, yeah, you kind of don't want to screw with that at a lower level. That's, uh... Okay, Repel War off. Time to get another one. I brought plenty. Thank God I was prepared. I was prepared for it. Okay, uh... Full Restore. Very cool. I didn't think I had one of those left. So it's very good that I got one. So, yes indeed. Let's go back out and look for Red further. Red creeps the crap out of me, man, because it's like... He freaking uh, trained up on Mount Silver for so long that he just died of frostbite, and then like his spirit lived on, and then he kept training. At least that's what I read in Creepypastas. It's kind of freaky. I wouldn't doubt it'd be true though in canon. Whoa, uh, Reggie Rock. Very nice. Is there anywhere else I need to go before I fight this Reggie Rock? Guess not. So I guess we have to fight the Reggie Rock first. Fine with me. Let's do so. UFO switch with uh, Tyranny Tar, I suppose. And we'll fight this Reggie Rock. Here we go! Oh, hi, Reggie Rock. You're only level 60. Doesn't matter to me. Have a crunch. Probably die, but I don't care. Please. They're gonna be able to beat me with that. Um. Can I do Rock Smash? That won't. Oh, nope, that's super effective. God dang it. Oh well. Don't care. I wasn't going to use it anyways. Next. I'm going to say before I glitch because I don't want to go back. I know. I really don't care about Reggie Rock at this point because this is the end of the game, guys. Uh, this is the final stretch. As soon as I beat Red, it's all over. I've done just about everything story-wise that's important in this game as soon as I beat Red. So that's the goal. That's the idea. And if you know where that That's the Idea reference came from, you are awesome. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's go get the item around this way. There's a ton of items around here. Obviously, they're trying to prepare you for red or something. Because they know that's what you're going after if you're in here. If you're even aware of who red is, that's the only reason you'd be in Mount Silver, I'm sure. So, yes. Let us keep going. This is making me dizzy, so hopefully we get to red pretty soon. Okay, so apparently that's where we have to go there, because Reggie Steel is blocking the way. Do I have to fight Reggie Gigas by the end of this? I wouldn't be surprised. I don't really care about all the items on the ground, because I'm prepared enough. Darn it, Repel. Stay on. Grr. Reggie Steel. I wonder if Reggie Gigas is even in this game. Yes, okay. Go for Rock Smash. Don't kill it, though. At least try not to. Island Defense of this. Okay, uh, Crunch then. I didn't think it would do anything. Whatever, critical hits, who gives a crap? I don't care about the Reggies right now. And it looks like since it's snowing, we're actually getting pretty close. So it doesn't look like it's too hard to find red, luckily. Huh. Looks like we have to go this way, so let's go this way. Oh, nope, this is just an item place. Fine with me. Don't really need a protein right now, but fine with me. We'll go down this way, then. And in here, it looks like... Ooh, the music changed. It sounds like we're getting there. Um, and of course, I have Rock Climb, so let's see what's up here first. Up at the rock climbing. All right. It's going to be an item up here or something like that because they wouldn't make it this easy to get to the top, I'm sure. 
You'd probably have to go through the rest of the cave, at least. You can tell, yeah, I don't trust the glitchiness of this game, and I don't really want to go through Mount Silver again, so yeah. Rock climb, mother freaker! Let's get that item, first of all. Pure incense, what does that do? Let's see, pure incense. Keeps wild Pokemon away as a holder in the first one in the party. Okay, that's nice, so that's basically a repel thing. What's up this way, anything? Uh, no, it doesn't look like a thing. Ooh, there's a rare candy under this rock, though, that's always nice. Too bad I have like 400 of them. <laughs> And back down the slope. Zip zop zoobity bop down the slope. I turned into Bill Cosby for a second, yes. Die on the slope. And I guess we gotta go in this cave down here. So it was only really for the rare candy and the uh, pure incense that I went up there, so yeah, let's go through here then. Looks like Guess we gotta go up this way. This place is a little bit confusing, but not too much. I mean, there's kind of a straight path to everything, it seems like. And the repel really helps keep the wilds away, and that would be the really annoying part about this journey, I'm sure. Okay, so that's Reggie Ice. So obviously I have to fight him. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm pretty sure I have to fight Reggie Gigas before I fight Red. That wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. Reggie Ice! Oh god, Reggie Ice is floating. That's kind of insane. Uh, go for Rock Climb. Actually, this is gonna kill it, isn't it? Oh no, it didn't! How about that? So in essence, I might even be able to catch this thing. So, where's my balls? <laughs> where's my balls? I have an Ultra Ball. Oh god dang it. Should have known this thing would be rather hard to beat. Or rather hard to catch. Not beat, but catch. Beat this thing in one hit if I want to do. Ah, the sandstorm killed him. Fail. We're getting there. Repel's effect wore off. Screw that. Doing another one. So, um, I for Wait. So, okay. So, he's rock. He's rock, uh... Um... What you call it? Rock dark, not, uh, ground dark. So... Is he? Because, I mean, Charge Beam affected him, so he can't be Ground-type. Yeah, it's gotta be Rock-type, right? Yeah, okay, he's Rock-dark, but still he should be able to kill that Pikachu easily with, uh, Earthquake. And what did I tell you? There's Regigigas. Ah, this is only in Spirit Gold, mind you. If you played the original Hard Gold, then this wouldn't be here, obviously. Slow start. Ha! Ah. Regigigas is kind of a beast, kind of, sorta. Its slow start kind of ruins its value, though, to be honest. <laughs> maybe, I can, maybe I can catch this thing, let's see. Ultra Ball! Nope, that didn't help. Doesn't matter to me. Have your sandstorm damage, and I'm gonna keep throwing Ultra Balls at you, sir. God dang it. Okay, so hopefully I can get it before it dies from sandstorming, but I probably can't. Okay, last chance. Come on, get him. Nope, okay, I'm screwed. Reggie Gigas is screwed, sorry. Doesn't matter to me, didn't care about him anyway. Okay, so we have to be really close to Red if we had to fight Reggie Gigas there, so he must be right up this hill. Whoa! Uh... Arceus? Okay, they're just throwing everything at me in Mount Silver, aren't they? Dryano was like, well, hey, it's the end of the game. Might as well throw every legendary imaginable at, at the trainer. <laughs> Phew. I seriously did not expect anybody after Reggie Gigas, but I guess... Here we go. Arceus. Level 80. My god. Uh, hopefully we can catch this thing. Ah, roar of time. Good lord. Oh, they didn't hurt me that much. Good. Go for... see how much Rock Smash does. Oh god. Okay, so it didn't kill it. Good. But if I don't get it with an Ultra Ball and a 
Actually, you know what? Master Ball, screw it. Screw it, it's Arceus. I have to use a Master Ball. Yes! <laughs> yeah, sorry, Arceus. <laughs> uh, nope. We are call it... We shall call it Jeebus. Because it is. It is Jeebus. Okay, but seriously, I had to use a Master Ball on that. It's freaking Arceus. I wouldn't have caught it if I hadn't done that. Ooh. Everything's... Listen to this. Everything's freaking quiet. I... That seriously just gave me chills walking through here. Like, everything is... Ooh, I have chills, man. This is... Woo! This is so tense right here. Oh, God. Stupid game. You had to ruin the intensity by glitching me, didn't you? Okay, saving, and then resetting. And then we can feel the tenseness once again when we go back in here. Ooh, man. Okay, reset real quick. Okay, this is seriously one of the tensest moments of any Pokemon game. And the reason I love Johto so much is because of this red encounter. It's just so... Ooh, it gives me chills. There he is. I still think he's a ghost man. He probably died up here training and then couldn't go back down. Aw, oh, crap. Here we go. Woo, Pikachu, level 99. Here we go. No hail for you. You get a sandstorm. Have an earthquake, Pikachu. That full tackle might hurt. Let's see. Don't kill me. Okay, earthquake. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Come on, come on. This Pikachu isn't that great. Yes, T-Tar did his job. Good. Blastoise, this is a job for UFO. This is what UFO is here for, so let's take out that Blastoise. Have a Zap Cannon. I probably should just use it. Uh, I should just use Discharge, to be honest. Well, so go for Discharge. Yawn! No, screw that. Have a Discharge and die, Blastoise. Uh, I'm gonna get put to sleep, aren't I? Then he's gonna heal himself with Aqua Ring and whatever else crap he has. Nope, he's not, because I'm gonna hit him with a Discharge and he's gonna die. Next. Of course he's asleep, but Charizard's coming back out, and that's why we have Omnom. Yes. We are putting the crap out of red. Oh god, he's going first. Not good, not good, not good. Survive! Okay, good. Good, 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 good. That means this Sheriff should do wonders on this thing. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Three down. We're doing quite well, if I do say so myself. Venusaur is out, and that's Wishmaster's territory right there. Unaffected by poison, not affected by grass. We'll start with Doom Desire, just in case. He's going to use growth for whatever reason. I know Doom Desire will come in handy later. That's why I'm using it. Uh, a lot of Red's Pokemon seem to have healing items, so... Okay, maybe I can use... Hopefully Doom Desire saves for the uh, next uh, Pokemon, whatever it is. It should. It should, I hope. So that's another one down. So far, this is freaking cake. Snorlax, okay, we're definitely going to need Doom Desire for this. Um, I want Pinch Me to take this on, since Pinch Me has a high physical attack. Um, first thing we're going to do is go for Sword Stance, because I know we'll need it. Oh, he's going to go for Curse, so that's really going to negate my Sword Stance, pretty much. Have an Iron Head, then. This Snorlax is beastly in defense. I know he is. Is the Doom Desire going to hit him or not? That's what I'm wondering. Okay, there's Snor- Wow, this is freaking cake at level 95. I probably could have done this at 90, to be honest. This is it! This is his last Pokemon! Espeon, that's it! I can't believe it, that's it! Oh my god! I mean, this X-Scissor, it, it- What? That was freaking simple as heck! I could have beat him at level 90! <laughs> god, I got chills for nothing, man, I swear. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, man! It gave me goosebumps! From a freaking Pokemon game! Woo! Red, you scared the crap out of me! Alright! Well! It appears that that is the end of the LP, guys! I hope you enjoyed it! Um, and I hope you enjoyed this grand finale, especially I had fun with it. If you guys haven't heard, the next LP that I'm doing is Pokemon Blaze Black. It will be... A monotype run competition versus a cup of British or BT Britain HD or whatever she's calling herself right now. Basically, whoever gets the least blackouts by the end wins. Um, and of course, I'm going to pose this question right now. Uh, 
I'm giving you a couple of choices for Blaze Black for a monotype run. It's either Ghost, Poison, Bug, Psychic, or, uh, let's see, what was it? Ghost, Bug, Poison, Psychic, or, um, God, I suddenly, I think that was it, actually. It was Ghost, Bug, Poison, and Psychic. Ghost, Bug, Poison, and Psychic, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, so it was Ghost, Bug, Poison, and Psychic. So I'm going to give you guys a choice between that. Post in comments if you want. Ghost, Bug, Poison, or Psychic. And uh, let me know, guys. Thank you for watching this LP. It means a lot. This was one of my most fun LPs, in my opinion. I had a lot of fun with it. I got a good, good amounts of views. I'm glad you guys were interested in it. And what can I say but rate, comment, subscribe, favorite, and I will see you guys in the next LP.